Now that the market's begun to settle down, the aftermath of yesterday's shellacking, eh, maybe it's time to pick among the rubble. This is the moment where you search through the ashes for high-quality stocks that may have gotten hit harder than they deserve. How do we know something is high quality? I like to circle back to the companies that just reported solid quarters right before the big breakdown. Take Core Lab, CLB, the technologist of the oil service space. These guys use their tech to help oil companies analyze rocks and fluids in the reservoirs, showing them the best place to drill in order to get the most oil out of, out of the oil fields. Now, the stock of Core Labs had the misfortune of reporting a robust quarter last Wednesday, not long before the entire market started rolling over. The company delivered inline sales and earnings, and management told a real bullish story on their conference call about how oil producers will keep adopting Core's technology in order to drill more efficient wells. Plus, with crude back in the 60s, even if it pulled back in recent days, we're seeing offshore drilling make a bit of a comeback, which again translates into more business here. I think that's why Core shares have held up so well during the sell-off, only dipping 5% on Friday and Monday and then bouncing $2.67 today. So does this stock make sense here? Let's check in with David Dempsher, the chairman and CEO of Core Laboratories, get a better sense of how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Dempsher, welcome back to Man Money. Hey, Jim, thanks for having us back on Mad Money. And how about those Eagles? Uh, well, oh, don't get me started. I won't be able to think about anything else. That's why I wore another green tie. I got about a half dozen of them. All right, David, this was a remarkable quarter. And one of the things that was remarkable about it was you explained that your company is more levered to technology than just the oil price. I want people to understand that so they don't just say to themselves, well, wait a second, if oil goes down $5, I should sell my core. Not so, uh, Jim. Uh, the application of technology is catching on more and more in the oil field. If you just look at the efficiency of drillers in the U.S. in these unconventional plays, break-even used to be up somewhere around uh, $80. Break-even now is down around $40. It's a lot of applications of Core Lab technology that helps them do two things. Number one, produce more oil and gas every day. And number two, produce more oil and gas over the life of the field. Right now, on average, an unconventional play only produces about 9% of its total in-place oil. With Core Lab technology that we're developing, we're hoping to increase that number up to maybe 14 or 15%, which would be a 50% increase in the amount of recovery from these unconventional plays. Well, I think you, uh, and I want people, I urge people, you have a really great conference call where you have a lot of people speaking and each one's got so much to add. I like this line from you, which you just say, uh, that your major clients regarding capital management, return on invested capital, free cash flow, and return the capital back to their shareholders, that's what they're doing, as opposed to just growing production and destroying capital at any cost. Please explain that to us. Jim, if you look over the last 10 years, uh, starting back in 2008, we had a strong run from 2008 all the way up to 2014. During that period, however, a lot of the explorers in the U.S. and worldwide destroyed capital. They were spending more money than they were going to recover from producing oil and natural gas. So what we're trying to help them do is get a better return on that. They will drill fewer wells, but they will drill better wells. And that's going to be critical for them to increase the return on invested capital, increase share price, and also return capital back to their shareholders. Now, David, have you seen any diminution of competition during this period? I mean, you always made your balance sheet. You care tremendously about your balance sheet, tremendously about your shareholders. You didn't throw money away. I know others did. Are you, have you taken share now from some companies that, frankly, their eyes were too big for their balance sheet? Well, I don't think we've taken market share, Jim, but what we've done is we've created some market share. For instance, in this enhanced oil recovery in unconventionals, no other company out there was thinking about that. Where we started to put in place projects two years ago, we continue to work on that today. So we might not be capped during market share, but we're creating new markets for Core Lab to thrive in. And in these creation of new markets, are they uh, getting any lift? from the fact that oil is now in the 60s versus, say, 26, as it was in January of 2016? Oh, for sure. You see great companies like Pioneer Natural Resources, uh, EOG, Occidental, Chevron, Shell, BP. These guys have all gotten a nice lift on share price. And if you look at BP's numbers this morning, they sported some very, very nice returns and some very, very nice discoveries that they've made over the last couple of years. All right, so how do we feel about oil uh, price in general? Or can we just kind of say, you know what, as long as it stays in this area, let's not need, we don't need 80, we don't need $100 oil. 
Core does fine here, and if oil goes a little higher, even better. Well, uh, we couldn't agree with you more, Jim. You keep it between, between $60 and $80. Uh, we're very happy on that. If you look at worldwide production, the world has drawn on inventories now 17 months in a row. So worldwide inventories are now right around 40 days of supply. Usually at that level, you start to get very stable oil prices. Once we dip below that 40 day in inventory, we start to get increases in crude prices. And we think that's going to happen over the next six or so months. Well, if that's the case, then uh, it, makes it, it makes it understandable why core stock is held up as well as it has. Also makes it understandable why the stock can go even higher. David Dempsher, Chairman and CEO of Core Labs, thank you so much for coming back on Man Money. Look, uh, oil, it does act better. But more importantly, technology is creating new markets. You heard what David Dempster said. That makes me like CLB all the more. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.